Good morning, Cecilia. It's Tuesday, February 28th. Actually, it's, it's not morning, so... Good evening, Cecilia. It's Tuesday, February 28th. So it's been like over a month since my last video. And I know we said we were gonna do these like once a week, but then stuff like this happened. That's my schedule from like a week ago. And it gets pretty crazy. And it's very packed. And I'm glad we... I'm glad we're not choosing concrete times to make videos because otherwise I'd never get anything done. Anyway, so on Friday we went to go see one of my favorite filmmakers, Don Hertzfeld, and his new film come out in Cleveland, and that was exciting. And I do not have any pictures or videos of that for you, because for one thing you were there. And also because I've been really thinking about this um, essay that I read a few years ago. It's by Walker Percy and it's called The Loss of the Creature. And basically what it's about is um, how we experience things and what gets in the way of us experiencing them. And one thing that really stuck out to me was what he said about taking pictures and videos when you go to experience something. For example, he says, Seeing the canyon is made even more difficult by what the sightseer does when the moment arrives, when Sovereign Knower confronts the thing to be known. Instead of looking at it, he photographs it. There is no confrontation at all. At the end of 40 years of preformulation and what the Grand Canyon yawning at his feet, what does he do? He wavers his right of seeing and knowing and records symbols for the next 40 years. For him there is no present. There is only the past of what has been formulated and seen, and the future of what has been formulated and not seen. The present is surrendered to the past and the future. So basically what he's saying there is that when you take a camera or a video camera to something you want to experience, you end up so worried about getting the right picture or looking at it through that lens that you wouldn't get to experience it in the way that you would if you could just put the camera down. And that's why I decided I didn't want to take a camera to go see Don Hertzfeld on Friday because I really wanted to listen to him and I really wanted to watch him and I really wanted to pay attention to what he was saying and not worry about if I was going to put that video into my video blog or if I was going to put the pictures on the Facebook. And I don't want to remember thinking about things like, oh, I hope the lighting's good enough for this video or, oh, I hope somebody on YouTube will comment about this. I studied photography for a couple of years and I used to think that putting the camera up to your face was something that would make you experience something even more because the image was right there in front of you. But ultimately I realized that when you put that lens in front of your face, only thing it does is it detracts from that experience. It puts a block between you and what you're experiencing and you don't experience it at all. And that's one of the reasons I'm not a photographer. He goes on to say that the reason we want to take pictures and we want to take videos is because we want people to certify our experience as genuine. We want to show them the evidence of our experience and have it proven to be genuine and that we did the real thing and that we saw the real stuff and we don't want anyone to tell us otherwise. And I didn't really want to put that decision in anyone else's hands but my own. I know what I saw and I know what I felt and I know that my experience was genuine and I don't need other people confirming it to tell me that it was. And that's why one of the things I'm hoping to do this year is to get away from my camera and get away from my videos and really experience things for what they are. I don't have any evidence of that night. I didn't take any pictures, I didn't take any videos. And that's okay with me because I still have it in my memory. And as far as I'm concerned, that's the best way to document something. Cecilia, I'll see you next time.